Delia, please tell me you have like a granola bar or something, some blueberries. Stacy, I'm sorry, I don't. I had first lunch, so I already ate all my food. <sighs> Great. I just forgot cash for the vending machine and I forgot to pack my lunch. I was in such a rush this morning because I have a big exam after lunch and I, uh, if I don't eat, I'm just gonna be thinking about food the whole time during my exam and, uh, excuse me. Uh, Megan! Meg, uh, hi. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Talia. I couldn't hear that you were worried about being hungry for lunch. Yeah, my whole grade is writing on this exam and if I fail, well, oh, I don't even know wanna know. <laughs> I mean, will colleges even accept me? Of course they will, Stacy. You're awesome. But here, take my lunch. Meg, are you sure? I mean, this is your lunch. I, I couldn't. I insist. Plus, I packed a really delicious cupcake in there, so best brain power food. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're always the kindest. It's no problem, really. I have a few dollars. I could just get something for the vending machine. Well, catch you girls later. Good luck on your exam. Hey Maya, hey Meg. Love your guys' outfits, matching like always. Thanks Trevor. I got my whole outfit from lpsqueen.com. 15% off. Good luck on your wrestling match tonight. Thank you. You're kidding me. I'm literally a dollar short. Come on. Ugh. Be right back. Hey Tucker, I heard that the vending machine was giving you some trouble. I have an extra dollar on me if you want. And Meg, I, I don't know if I can take that. I mean, you gave me a dollar last week too. I can't let one of my peers go hungry though. Come on, you need some food. <laughs> Meg, I just wanna thank you for all your generosity. You know, money has been really tight in my family and <sighs> just not knowing where my next meal is gonna come from, this means everything. So thank you, thank you so much, Meg. It's really no problem. I can't find my pencil anywhere, and I'm going to be late for class. Ugh, Mr. Miller is going to kill me again. I, I'm always late to class, and I can never find my pencils. Uh, oh, Riley, did I hear you can't find a pencil? <laughs> uh, yeah, Megan, I um, can't find a pencil. <laughs> what else is new? Well, it must be your lucky day because I have an extra pencil. I always pack two, just in case. Thank you so much. I feel like you've been doing this to me since fifth grade. I always, I, I always forget pencils. Well, thank you so much. Gotta run to class. <laughs> no problem. Good luck. <sighs> Sorry, Maya. I mean, I just don't get it. I, I don't understand how you're so insanely generous all the time and always being there for other people. It's crazy. A gift. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like I'm blessed with a lot of things and giving back to the school and my friends is really the least I can do. I mean, you never know what everyone else is going through. And I mean, I still don't know how you have a boyfriend yet. I mean, we're the most popular girls in the school, not to flex, and you're the nicest person in the whole school. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't want a boyfriend at the moment. <laughs> That's fair, I can hear they can be a lot of work. <laughs> so, can you share me your secrets? Maya, you already know all my secrets. What are you talking about? On how to be the most sweetest and kindest and nicest person like you are? Well, sort of like what I was saying earlier, you just have to be selfless. You know, go out of your way to help other people. It really makes someone's day. I mean, when someone holds open the door for you, don't you feel respected and happy and seen? Yeah, I do. You're right. Exactly. I mean, you're just a people pleaser. That's what you are. <laughs> I don't know if I'd put it in the terms people pleaser, but I definitely like helping other people out. I do it for them, but I also do it for myself because it makes me feel better knowing that I helped someone out. Wow, that's wild. I mean, you're basically perfect. <laughs> Maya, trust me, I'm far from perfect. Whatever, I still say lies. Oh yeah, uh, before I forgot, I totally forgot to tell you I can't get ice cream after school today. I have a dentist appointment, and I think I have a cavity. Oh yikes, that's not fun. And that's okay, good luck with your whole dentist appointment. Thanks! Well, I should probably go to class, so um, uh, see you later, bestie. <laughs> Bye, Maya. Megan Wismer, please report to the front office. 
I can't be in trouble, could I? <gasps> Hello? I was told I needed to come home from school. What's the... Leia, are you okay? <gasps> Meg, it's about your mother. Her cancer treatment, we thought it was working. The doctors thought it was working, but it wasn't. The test results, they were inaccurate. Her cancer was getting worse. We just thought it was getting better. She was sent to the hospital this morning when you were at school. She was having really sharp pains in her back, her side. Dad, what are you saying? She passed away this morning. What, no, you're lying. We thought she was getting better and she couldn't have died that fast, Dad. Please tell me. But she's still here and- She's gone, Meg. I'm sorry, girls. We put everything we had into the treatment. We spent every last piece of money we had only for these results. Your mother loved you very much and she always will. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. And then my sister got three more crickets from lpsqueen.com because they were having a really good sale. But I'm like, how are we gonna take care of all these crickets? And then she was like, Meg, uh, best friend. I just wanna let you know how much I missed you. I miss you too, Maya. It's been a really lonely two weeks, but I hope you're feeling better. I am a little better. It's just been taking a lot of getting used to and Having her gone is just another challenge. I completely understand. And if you need anything, just know that I'm your best friend in the whole world and I will do anything for you. <laughs> thank you, Maya. And thank your family for the delicious cookies and the casserole they sent over. Of course, anything for my bestie. Well, I sort of gotta go make up an assignment now, but I'll catch you at lunch. That sounds good, see ya. Love you, best friend. Hey, uh, Megan, do you have the textbook for math for statistics? Yeah, it would be great if I could borrow it since I know you have it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I forgot mine at home. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Meg, hey! It's been a while since you came to school. Were you on vacation or something? Uh, not exactly, Tucker. Well, I... I don't mean to be that person, but um, I'm short 50 cents today. Not a dollar, but 50 cents. Uh, go ahead. Uh, take my granola bar. I'm not hungry anyways. Uh, wow, uh, thank you. Back in, back in. <sighs> Hi. Do you happen to have a spare pencil on you today? Uh, there you go. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. Hello? Leia? Dad? <sighs> uh, why is the house empty? Meg, we can't afford this house anymore. The landlord's kicking us out. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I guess for the past few months, Dad has been slacking on the rent and we're moving to an apartment now. What? No, we can't. I mean, our whole life has been in this house, and this house is home. All the memories with mom, we can't let it go. Megan, we can't afford this house anymore. I sold my LPS collection to LPSqueen.com, and it's getting us money to pay the rent. N no! <laughs> Leia, you're lying. We're not selling this house. We are, Megan. Just accept it.
Um. Bestie, everyone's looking at you. Did I not get the memo? It was pajama day and we weren't wearing our flowers. I am so sorry. I meant to stick to the fashion Aya, code, Aya, but- you're fine. I just, it's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. We got kicked out of our house. What? Yeah. We moved to some apartment that's 40 minutes away from school. Now the commute's terrible. You can have a sleepover at my house. Uh, Megan, hey, uh, do you happen to have the homework that was due last week? I need to look at a copy of it. No, I don't. Jeez, <laughs> uh, okay, don't need to be so blunt about it. Hey, Meg, is that a new fashion trend or something? <sighs> Oof, man, you got the cold shoulder. Psst, do you have an extra pencil? You know what, Riley? I don't have an extra pencil. Why don't you just buy your own pack of pencils? Peg! I thought you learned your lesson by now, but clearly I was wrong. Maybe you can fit something else inside your tiny little brain. Peg! How dare you! Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. No, it doesn't matter if you meant it or not. You still said it. <laughs> I didn't even want a pencil from you in the first place. Did you she see the way she talked to Riley? I thought she was nice. I want to know the tea. I, I thought she was How nice. How is she even popular? Yeah, I don't even that understand unacceptable. what just happened. Enough. Please. Megan, are you okay? No, I am not okay. I am far from okay. I'm sorry, everyone, for the way I have treated you or if I said anything mean or harsh. The truth is, I didn't mean any of it. The past few weeks have been extremely difficult for me, and I know I try to put on a facade, acting like everything in my life is working out and I have everything planned and everything is going well. But in reality, it's far from well. I know I keep my personal life private from school life, but the truth is if you knew what was going on in my personal life, you might understand. I try to be nice and generous and sweet to people, but I have definitely reached my tipping point. I'm cracking under pressure and I feel lost and confused and frankly, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do from here. Just over two weeks ago, my mother passed away from cancer. Oh my god. That's so sad. And just yesterday, my dad, sister, and I got kicked out of our house. We moved to some apartment. So you ask me how I'm doing? I say, terrible. But it's okay to feel bad. You don't always have to feel great. All my life, I've been trying to earn people's trust and get people to like me. Some might call it people pleasing. And while I disagreed with that term once, Honestly, I'm not far from being a people pleaser. I just want to tell you guys that it's okay not to feel okay. Sometimes life hurts and it's terrible, but I feel like if you bottle it all up inside, who's ever going to know how you're really feeling? Sometimes you need to let the burden come off your shoulders, even if that's just talking to a friend, a best friend. I hope you all understand. I'm really sorry for your loss, and I'm sorry for lashing out at you earlier. That wasn't right of me either. Please forgive me. <gasps> Group hug!